Good day and good morning. It is great to be here to share God's Word and to show it to uh, one another in the way we live it out in our lives. Let's begin today in prayer. Lord, beautiful days or difficult days, you are there every step of the way. And Lord, we thank you for the moment we can have together with your Word and with one another to know that we are not alone in faith. And yes, Lord, even though we might live in times of isolation and desperation and Lord, we are a very dispersed people, but at the same time, your spirit is working in us and your word is showing us that we are drawn together and your word calls us together and your love binds us together. That as we work each day, even in our individual tasks, your love brings it all together and gives it purpose. And so, Lord, as we follow your commands, as we look to care for one another, as we serve together in Christ's name, Lord, let us all do things to your glory that comes together in the building up of your kingdom and the sign and the showing of your love in our midst as we seek it and need it in our lives. Lord, let us be a blessing to one another. In Christ we pray. Amen. And we read in the Old Testament in Exodus chapter 20, 1 to 6, and it's God speaking. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. Not that we believe that God is conditional in love, but that God promises to respond to the love we share, to the way we keep the, the covenants of love. And especially as we look as, at fundamental things like the Ten Commandments, these simple, straightforward rules for living that are evidence to God and to the world of just how much we love and the, and the validity of our love and the authenticity of our love all points to our honor and respect for God is God and, a, and is a declaration of our faith in God. For when we show love in our life, when we are charitable and kind and good to one another, and more than that, when we do things for the sake and glory of God, in the end, that love is a part of the truest signs of God in our lives. For God is love. If we're going to love in our lives and then turn around and say we don't believe in God, then how real is that love? If we're going to say we believe in God and not care for and honor one another, where's that faith? Where's that love? What is its meaning? But if we say we believe, and people know us to be loving, then they know true love from us. And we get to celebrate that with each and every person that God has given us, even as we care and serve our own family. Go serve as God has commanded you. Show God's love. And declare to all, in the way you live and the person you are, that you know God for who God is who God really is. God bless you.